Among other games, SNK is well known for the Metal Slug series. But before Metal Slug, there was Top Hunter. Top Hunter, Rhodey and Kathy was released in 1994 for the Neo Geo, two years before Metal Slug. It was later released on the Neo Geo CD, PlayStation 2 as part of the SNK Arcade Classics and the Wii Virtual Console. You take control of either Rhodey or Kathy, the best bounty hunters on the galaxy, to hunt space pirates on four different worlds. As usual with SNK games, the controls are explained right before you start. And apart from the attack and jump buttons, there is a dedicated third button for changing planes, kinda like the Fatal Fury games. Apart from their appearance, there is no difference between Rhodey and Cathy. The goal is to clear all four stages in whatever order you feel like. For that, you punch, grab and throw enemies and whatever you can get your hands on. Each stage is divided in two parts. The first one ending with a melee fight with a mid-boss. And the second one against a stage boss, which usually requires figuring out the right timing for attack, giving the game a nice variety in action. Even though there's a time limit, there is no need to rush in this game. There are plenty of boxes and switches that will grant you additional time and enemies don't pop out by the dozen like in Metal Slug. In every stage you can find a hidden entrance to the bonus stages. Where you can also collect items to grant you extra time. As usual with SNK, the beauty is in the details. The carefully done sprite work is great to look at, the characters changing sprites when low on energy or when being blown away by the wind and every stage having an unique look to it. There are robots you can ride, enemies drop guns that can be used, and there are even special attacks that remind you of other SNK games. Even if you're not a fan of the Metal Slug series, this game is worth giving a shot. You can play it on a slower pace and don't need to worry about thousands of bullets flying in the air. It's one of those games that prove that while SNK didn't have much variety, whenever they decided to try something new, they gave it their best. And it shows. <laughs> 